Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, what I want to talk about are the brand new Ultimate Legends that were added to the game today. Now, for some reason, this graphic isn't quite updated yet, but we can go in here and take a look on the Auction House, find the brand new Ultimate Legends, which are, of course, first of all, Julius Peppers. One of my absolute favorite players of all time, probably my favorite defensive player ever. Uh, I have multiple jerseys of Julius Peppers. You guys see me wear those from time to time on stream and on videos and things like that. Uh, but yeah, man, this Julius Peppers is an absolute freaking tank, dude. Take a look at some of these attributes that this card has. First of all, he's six foot seven, which is huge, of course. Uh, some people like to drop their defensive ends into coverage from time to time. And what's nice about this card is that you can actually play him at linebacker as well. He does have, of course, linebacker cards in the game currently. But uh, if you take a look at this, it's actually a right end which is kind of interesting because they've already made a couple Ultimate Legend right ends. But um, let's take a look at this one specifically because I think that this card is one of the best in the game. Now, if you take a look here and compare him against Bruce Smith, just some of these attributes are just so ridiculous. He has a hundred finesse move, guys. A hundred finesse move. That is insane. He's going to get after the quarterback so fast, especially when you consider the fact that he has a hundred acceleration and 93 speed. Now, this is just the base card that you can get. That doesn't even include the actual boss edition, which I haven't actually seen anybody pull or anybody put onto the auction block yet. But man, this card is absolutely nuts. It's got great strength at 97. Good tackling, of course. Great block shed. Uh, the power move is low, but that's not too much of a worry because of the high finesse move. So he's typically going to do that instead of the power move anyway. But man, this card, I'm telling you guys, Probably the best defensive end in this game. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, the speed and the uh, the power move and the strength, or the, the finesse move, excuse me, and the strength, all those things together just really make this card out of control. It's probably the best defensive end in the game, like I said. So I'm a big fan of this one. Now, of course, the boss edition has a boosted attributes and pretty much everything, so it's a little bit faster. It has over 100 in finesse move. Um, uh, if I remember correctly, the strength is like 100 or something like that. So, I mean, both of these cards are just insane, but the boss edition is just ridiculous. So this is your chance, guys, to potentially pull uh, basically what you could consider to be a 100 overall card if you pull one of those boss edition Julius Peppers. So there's the Julius Peppers. Now let's go in here and also take a look at uh, the brand new running back that they added to the game. And that is, of course, Barry Sanders. So they have the base edition Barry Sanders. I don't see any of the boss editions up right now. Um, but, uh, again, there is also a boss edition of this. So this week they actually introduced two brand new Ultimate Legend cars, Barry Sanders and, of course, Julius Peppers, which we already took a look at. So Barry Sanders here, 99 overall, an incredible card, guys. I'm telling you, these attributes on this thing, as you can imagine with Barry Sanders, yeah, they're just ridiculous. I mean, his, his elusiveness, his agility, his acceleration, his speed, everything is just amazing. He's not great at trucking, and that's about it. Um, he's not terrible at trucking either. He's still got a 91. But let's compare him. My, my current running back on my roster is Adrian Peterson. I think he probably compares most favorably with Adrian Peterson. Um, but if you look at Marshawn Lynch, he's substantially better than Marshawn in everything other than trucking. But Adrian and, my, and Marshawn are pretty much the same card with Adrian being a little bit better in most of the attributes so even when you compare him to adrian peterson who was previously considered to be probably either the best or second best running back in the game dependent on where you put bo jackson yeah this card kind of blows adrian peterson out of the water now of course there are like i said there is a boss edition of adrian and there's a boss edition of barry so you know the barry is going to be better than the adrian as well but if we're just looking at the base ultimate legend cards Barry's better in almost everything, and he's substantially better in some areas. He's got five better for awareness, which, of course, I don't really worry that much about because you're going to be typically controlling your own running back, um, but it would help in, in blitz pickup, of course. His agility is a little bit higher. His speed's a little bit higher. His acceleration's a little bit higher. His carrying is three higher as well, so he's almost a 100 for carrying. His ball carrier vision is 100. 100 for ball carrier vision, which... I'm not exactly certain. I haven't been able to test out exactly what ball carrier vision does and if it's actually important. Maybe you guys can let me know in the description below or in the comment section, but 
as far as I understand it, basically what ball carrier vision is, is when you're running at the offensive line and uh, you would typically run into them, it basically gives you uh, an ad an assist in getting through the hole, if that makes sense. So you don't run into your own offensive lineman. I think that's what it does, but I'm not 100% for certain. So again, leave a, a comment if you guys know and if I'm incorrect in what I said about ball carrier vision, but I think that's what it is. 102 for elusiveness as well. So he is very, very difficult to take down. Uh, and then also the trucking, like I said, is the only thing where he's not better than Adrian Peterson and Marshawn Lynch at only a 91 trucking. So that's not great. Um, it's actually lower than most of these running backs. It's the same as the uh, team MVP, Matt Forte. Uh, and let's see here what he look, compares to with tr Todd Gurley. Yeah, Todd Gurley even has higher. So uh, he's definitely low in the trucking department. But as you guys know, trucking is extremely underpowered in this game. Um, so I don't really worry that much about that. I, I think when you look at the actual um, uh, the attributes that matter more, Barry Sanders is just ridiculous. He's too damn good. So uh, I'm a big fan of this card, and I'm definitely going to be trying to acquire it at some point. So uh, there you go, guys. Barry Sanders, 99 overall. And if you guys don't know, Barry Sanders is the only ultimate legend. Well, I shouldn't say ultimate legend because um, that last year they didn't have them. But last year they had, you know, just like the, the legend cards. And I pulled Barry Sanders at one point. Um, and, and then I also this year pulled Barry Sanders in my Thanksgiving cornucopia pack. So there's a possibility that I have just like the Barry Sanders luck or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to try and actually go in here and I'm going to open up five pro packs, guys, which I typically do not do at this point in the game. If you guys saw a recent pack opening video that I did a couple of days ago, I got some pretty good luck in packs. So I'm going to try and see what I can pull today. Uh, I'm only going to open up five. Like I said, we'll see what we get. And hopefully, um, hopefully we don't completely crap the bed with what we pull in these packs. So let's see what we get. By the way, uh, I did also want to point out one more thing real quickly here for you guys. If you didn't know, there is currently legend packs in the game. Uh, and, and then the legend bundle that you can pull, which you can only pull it, of course, with money, which sucks. But um, it, you actually are going to get three legend packs and a bundle topper that guarantees either a Barry Sanders or a Julius Peppers legend item now that doesn't include the actual boss edition as i understand it so you can't pull that in the topper but you can actually pull any of the collectibles that go into their sets so that's going to make it substantially easier for you guys to be able to complete these sets if you're looking for the ultimate legend barry sanders or the ultimate legend julius peppers so with that being said, I'm not going to open up Legend Packs because I find them to be trash. Typically, the, the five gold players that you get are complete crap. And there's really not anything guaranteed to be amazing in any of them. So, uh, And also, you get, oh boy, you get an ult you get a Legend player or collectible. Which, typically, the collectibles are those trashy gold ones, which are just terrible, by the way. So, I don't usually recommend doing the Legend Packs. But if you want to get some of those easy collectibles, that's the way to do it to open up those bundles. So, anyway... Let's go in here and see what we can pull. And the very first thing that we get, Denora Searcy, a good card there, man. We get a, a football outsider, not a football outsider, excuse me, an NFL movers card right away. So that is pretty nice. Let's see if we get anything else. Nope, nothing else of any sort of value here in this pack. Look at all these gold, like low overall bronzes and stuff, but that's okay. We at least got a decent pull out of the first pack. So I'm happy to see that. Let's see here what else we can pull in today's pack opening. Again, we're, we're gonna try and open up five packs. So wish me luck in these guys. We already got Cersei. That's, that's not too bad. I'll, I'll definitely take that. Jonathan Stewart in this pack. Unfortunately, not very good. But we do get a 25k bonus quick sell. That's what I'm talking about, man. Damn. Am I seriously? I'm just having really good pack luck lately. Like, not pulling the amazing stuff, but at least pulling stuff that has some sort of value. Uh, definitely appreciate that. So uh, we'll go ahead and quick sell this here and take our 25k. Nice, man. That is nice. So that's going to at least pretty close to pay for... Well, it's going to pay for about three packs that we're going to open today. So we're pretty much already have paid for all the packs with Cersei and that, that quick sell. Uh, first card out of this one is Dan Williams. So this is probably going to be a trash pack. Yep, no real value here in this one, unfortunately. But that's okay. We already opened up two pretty good items to start this pack opening. So we got two more packs to open up today, guys. Let's see here what we get in this one. Justin Hunter. I know uh, Ryan's a big fan of Justin Hunter. Matt Ryan is our gold, so probably not anything good out of this pack. Yeah, not really not really anything in this one. Um, I don't think Justin Hunter goes for anything, but I'm going to keep him anyway. I, I usually just keep all of my 70 or above overall silver players just because I never know when they're actually going to go for anything. Uh, I, I'm not 
too up to date on whether those go into sets or anything like that. So I just keep them. Then I double check them after the fact and make sure that they don't go for anything. And then I'll quick sell them if they're not worth anything. Uh, and then same thing with all the gold players. Because like there's just so many gold players that go for at least a decent amount. More than what you could quick sell them for. And I'm on that mutt grind, man. I grind every time. So let's see here what we get in this final pack. It is going to be Jason Babin. So unfortunately, probably not anything of value. Yeah, nothing real quality out of this pack. Um, so there you go, guys. That is going to do it for today's pack opening video. Uh, and also, the uh, obviously, the, the reveal, I guess, as you could call it, of the legend items that were added into the game today. So I want to wish all of you guys very good luck today with opening these boss players. I still have not opened up any boss players this year. I haven't opened up any golden tickets, anything like that, but I might head back and try and open up a Barry Sanders later today just because I feel like I've been having pretty good pack luck and I just, maybe I'm the guy that pulls the Barry Sanders in every time that he's in the game. I don't know, maybe that's just me. So we'll see what we can get later today, potentially, guys. Uh, but be sure to follow my stream, twitch.tv forward slash TV. That Adrian Peterson that you guys saw will be on the line for Pink Slips this afternoon. So be sure to follow me over there. And if you want up-to-date information on when I'm going to be going live with the stream, of course, be sure to head on over to twitch.tv forward slash TV. And again, follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash ClickWithTV or at ClickWithTV, whichever way you guys like to get in contact with me. Um, again, we're going to be giving away this Adrian Peterson. If I don't give, if I don't lose it on Pink Slips, I will be giving it away at some point. So there it is, guys. That Adrian Peterson legend item. It was donated to me, so I wanted to give back to you guys. I don't. I, I mean, it's it would be great to keep this card, but it's even better for me to give it away to you guys because I know a lot of you guys grind and grind and grind, and you don't have the YouTube channel that will give you. You know, like I don't make a lot of money from my YouTube channel, but you guys may not have a you know a good way of generating income to actually be able to pull up potentially get a great card like Adrian Peterson. So I like to give people the opportunity to play me for them. Um, and potentially win this card later on stream as well. Uh, if we do do the giveaway, it would probably be on Sunday, just a pure giveaway for Adrian if I do win my Pink Slips games. Otherwise, like I said, come on over to the stream, play me live on stream. If you beat me, you are going to win this Adrian Peterson. So good luck to everybody. Thanks again for stopping by the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys again 